Welcome precalcitrants to class today on this Friday the 3rd. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're ready to take a quiz today and learn some more math. I hope you've studied and I hope you've prepared for your quiz. Let's go ahead and quickly look at some announcements here. Um, if I can get this thing to work. Uh, announcement number one, you will have a test next week. I'm not sure of the date yet on that, but I will let you know. Uh, you do not need to turn in your homework. Remember yesterday I treated you guys like college kids, so uh, you did not have to do the homework, but hopefully you made a wise decision and worked on the problems uh, that you did not understand. I, I won't do that very often, understand that, okay? Uh, incompletes, pre-calculus, let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, page 610, numbers 1 through 81, every other odd, and 34, 47, 67. Joel, I, I need that assignment from you. And remember, Joel, that's the assignment. You can get five bonus points on your quiz if, if you do the entire assignment. So if you turn that, it's not too late to do that. If you turn it in and have all of those done, I will give you five bonus points. Um, so please make sure you get that turned in today at the latest if you want the five bonus points for you students uh, listed there below. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys to see. Um, I have everybody else, Michael, Jonah, Ashlyn, Ashlyn, Anna, and Gus. All of you guys will get five bonus points on your quiz. So um, I appreciate your hard work there on that. Continuing on to the announcements, uh, the schedule today, we're going to take a quiz, then have notes only and no homework. So I'll give you a little bit of a break over the weekend. Uh, the lesson today is a pretty tough lesson. It's called Verifying Trig Identities. And most students find it challenging, so please be ready to take some good notes. Uh, the video is not that long. It's 24 minutes and 41 seconds, okay? And you might have to finish that over the weekend if you take a lot of time on your quiz. And let me go ahead and say this now, students. Your quiz is very short. I've made it short on purpose. And I'm going to start doing a better job of making your quizzes fit into the class period. To be honest with you, uh, Mrs. Gallant or whoever the supervising teacher is today, I've... After 20 minutes, if students want to keep working on their quiz, that is totally fine. That is totally fine. But I would go ahead and start the video for those who are done because really, 20 minutes, this quiz should be finished in my opinion. Okay, but I'll let Mrs. Gallant uh, handle that however she wants to. Okay, uh, the name of the video for today is called Verifying Trig Identities. Verifying Trig Identities. And students, remember, um, you might have to finish it over the weekend if you take a long time on your a long time on your quiz and so um, you might want to write this the name of the video down okay so it's up to you but you might want to do that so let me get a drink here real quick go ahead and clear off your desks uh, now at this time and uh, pause the video as soon as everybody has a quiz on their desk then go ahead and restart the video and we'll go over the quiz together okay problem number one I'm not going to put the quiz up on the screen because I, I never want the quizzes uh, to be out in the open on the uh, internet so I'll just kind of talk to you about each problem. Problem number one um, you have an airplane that gives some specific instructions about the airplane uh, the pilot wants to fly directly to the airport what would the bearing be? So make sure that you know how to find and write uh, the bearing of an airplane okay an airplane. Alright number two find the exact value for that problem there notice you're starting off with an arc sign on the inside and then once you solve that you will have theta and then find the tangent of theta okay uh, number three write an algebra expression that is equivalent to and then go ahead and uh, uh, take your arc sign and set up your triangle and do all the work there and then take secant of theta and if you do it correctly you will end up with an expression that is an algebra expression number four now listen find the remaining five trig values okay show all of the work in the space provided students you are not allowed to use uh, triangles and finding missing sides and then finding the five trig functions I know that you know how to do that I want you to find the five trig functions uh, by using trig identity you must show all of your work if I if I see one answer you've given in which you really haven't shown me how you sh how you came up with that using trig identities you will lose points okay so please understand that and notice also uh, that I've given you cosine of X okay and then I've also given you cosine of uh, 90 minus X that's called a cofunction identity and just so there's no confusion on this quiz um, you are you are allowed to have your trig identity sheets out okay you are so make sure you have those out um, with you to use during the quiz okay 
Um, the number 5, I want you to take that expression, uh, secant cubed x minus secant squared x, and so on and so forth there. I want you to take that. I want you to factor it. And then I want you to simplify it all the way down to tangent squared x uh, times the quantity secant x minus 1. And you should be able to do that if you um, know how to factor and know how to make your trig substitutions. Okay? Uh, show all of your work. All work must be shown. Uh, there in that space provided. Okay, uh, that's it. Have a good day. Go ahead and start your quiz at this time. When you're finished, um, whenever Mrs. Gallant decides it's time, you guys can start the video. And if you do not finish it in class, uh, make sure you finish it at home over the weekend. Okay, and have a good weekend.